Hello, my friends. I am going to play some violin. For your information, I don't know if you want this information, but this is a Parkdale Library guitar, and it comes with the following items. A so-and-so, and, -so. and uh, I can't really sustain playing the actual instrument that long. Uh, so, where are we? So I include the unboxing as part of this video. Uh, du -du. And then we go like, du -du -du. and I will show you, and you'll see. Okay, how are we doing this? Da, da, da. Aha, here's the case, and we open the case, and what do we see inside the case? We see the string, or the bow. Um, so, what we do with this is, it's already been loosened from when I put it in. Uh, sometimes a bit gets caught in this, I don't know why they have this hook down here to catch. Oh no, yeah, okay. There we go. You, you press, da press down, if you can see, I don't know with my camera, press down here. And it just goes like that. And then we bring the horsehair. I don't know if it if this is actual horsehair. But we bring it up and over. Oh, and there's some left. There we go. And then we can remove the bow, which I will just place on this table. Just place on the table. Find the balance. I don't know. Okay, so we're going to put it this way. So now we have this section here, and this is probably like a dust cover, that, that's, that's what I would think it's for. And we put that down, and now we have the violin, I hope you can see that. Um, and in addition to that, so we have the violin, and if you open this, uh, we got the rosin, I don't know what rosin is, but it's for the strings. Uh, it's for the bow, it's for the bow. So I'm going to put this down. Uh, there we go. Now with the bow, you can see the strings are loose and it looks like if you were to play the guitar like this, uh, it would probably, it, it looks like it's on the verge of falling apart. But um, this knob here, when you turn it, this part gets pulled back, and as this is pulled back, the bow tightens. I don't know if this was... So, like, this is obviously an old instrument. It's used in a lot of classical music. And the fact that they're using a bow suggests
to me at least, that it's related to a bow and arrow. Or, you know, like, people, I don't know, I don't know, you can use your own imagination why they would invent a bow for an instrument. It's, it's called a bow, I think. I'm starting to lose touch with reality. I need my medication. I can't take it for another 45 minutes. <coughs> so... Now it's taut. Now you can see the bow is taut. Okay. Now what we do, or I, I don't think this is 100% necessary every time, or even at all. But it, it, it also reminds me of a pull cue, which would be like a sword, I guess. I don't know. These, these things seem like English things, British things, or, you know, I guess fr France had it too, right? So it's European Union. I, I don't know. I don't know. Probably everybody had it. I don't know. I really don't know. And, I, you know, so we go like, wah, 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 wah. Just like dusting a pole cue. And there's just so much of this rosin that it, in my mind, it would last forever. Like, it would last as, it, it's like when you get that big eraser in school and you're like, yeah, I do use the eraser a lot. I do need a bigger eraser than the one on the pencil. But um, I don't need that big of an eraser. I'm not going to be like, I guess artists might. Yeah, I, my friends did tell me that, um, that they, uh, they ran out of the eraser. And that to me was just like another piece of proof that I wasn't an artist or I wasn't a writer. Um. So I think I want to adjust this drawing. Turn this. supposed to be playing it with the other hand. This is three-fourths size, the normal size of a violin. So you're going to...
smashing guitars is one thing, but this thing I really want to smash. Don't worry, Parkdale, I will not damage any of your instruments. <laughs> which way it's going. It is going the wrong way. Right. Okay, it's very tight. There we go. We're loosening. Oh no, what's this? nothing to worry about. We loosen it up so we can put it back in the case. There we go. Maybe a little looser. I'm a little looser? Okay, I'm joking. So now, as you can see, it's all torn and frayed, um, and I'm afraid. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And we put this back in here. We've got a little Velcro thing. And then, I don't think you can even see the case anymore. But this is just part of the natural process of uh, reconciliation. What am I talking about? And we go. There. And now the rosin. This thing is designed for you to lose things. And I can't help. You know, you think of like guitar and like maybe even piano and drums, like rock stuff, like you think that's for drugs. This could hide drugs very easily. I don't do drugs. I take prescription medication. So there we go. Um, and I always forget the dust cover. I did not forget this time. So I'm learning. If anything, I'm learning about the case. <laughs> It's, uh, I guess you learned about the turtle shell before, before you learned about the turtle. Is that a thing? Do people say that? Or do, do people believe that? Is that a scientific methodology? Well, people eat turtles. I don't eat turtles, but I wouldn't be against eating turtles. I like turtles and chocolate candy, but uh, I am over here. Can you still hear me? Can you still hear me? Oh, 
And I'm just going to take out my guitar just for kicks. So you move. You come here. You go there. Oh no, the power went out. No, seriously, it did. Uh, it's been going out from time to time. But that doesn't mean we can't play guitar since the camera is battery operated. And I hope this isn't a very long blackout. But let's see here. They say blind musicians are the best musicians. I'm not totally blind. And I just tuned this for some other thing. Trust me, I exist. <laughs> Hopefully the power will come on. Should I light a candle? <laughs> That's funny. So Tennessee Waltz.
Ah, young Jedi. <laughs>